Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me once again as I continue with my Let's Play of Warhammer 40k Death Watch. This is episode 6, and we're going to continue on where we left off. Now, I've been doing some thinking, and I've looked at some of these stats, and we'll go back to Jofiel. I'm still, eh, with him. But he's a veteran. He's one of our better individuals for now. I'm leaning toward maybe trying this out. Quite a few people have said that I should... Well, okay, quite a few people. Somebody suggested that I should. I should. I, I should. I should say that. Somebody suggested that I should try it out. Um, taking a look at the 350% damage, doing all the math, it'd be like hitting like six or seven times. We still get multiple shots. The only thing we need to really, we get three shots per at you know whatever the lower accuracy is. It's still not bad. It's obviously not as good at hitting as the regular bolter, but. If we hit and we crit, it's going to be tremendous damage, so maybe it's worth it. Now, the higher the level we are, the better chances we'll have of higher accuracy, and on and on and on. So, obviously, we want to put this on one of our better units, one of our higher units, and then that will be the best bet. Additionally, if we get within, what is it, half the tile range of this weapon, which is 6, so within 3, we'll get additional 40% extra volleys off, so... More of a chance to hit. So I'm going to give it a shot. We're going to put it on Jofiel. See if he can't make up for the stuff he's done the last couple of episodes. So there we go. That's what we're going to do. We're going to give it a shot. And we're going to continue on down the campaign. To the labyrinth. Alright. Here we go, guys. The hive ship has been infected by the atrophine agent. The kill team must hack their way through narrow flesh canals to reach an outer skin of the dying ship. That sounds nasty. I don't think I'd want to do that if I were any of these folks. All right, we're just going to roll out with our equipment. We'll see how it plays out. Yeah, buddy. And you've got a Mastercraft thing as well. You know what? Since we're being crazy and psychotic anyway, we have an 85% accuracy. Let's hop on in and didn't we get a... Oh, that's right. It's only for the Death Angel or whatever it was called. Never mind. All right, we're just going to roll out with what we have then. All right, so cool, cool, cool. Let's go. Let's do it. Did you know that you can rename your space marines by tapping on their name in the armory? My chair is creaking. It's weird. Kill team. We have a means of escape. These narrow channels will lead you to the edge of the ship. Blast and hack through any membrane walls that bar your path. No, mind your corners. Watch out for enemy... Tyranids, don't get killed by Xenos, no uh, words of advice and of not death. Alright, well, we have a lot to do here. Looks like we're going to need to move... Hmm. Well, we're going to have to split our forces, I think, is going to be the easiest play to make. So what I think I'll do is probably roll out this way, cut through here, go that way with some of our guys. The rest of our guys will go through this way. Again, I'm not sure. This, is, this looks like a terrible, terrible mission. All right, we'll want to get our sword guy to the front line at some point as well. That way he can uh, counterattack if anybody decides to like roll out on us. I'm going to move over here. Is there anyone right in our general vicinity? It does not appear to be so. So what I'm going to do is just... No, I think we can move one, one step further. I'll move up here, and I'm going to overwatch right there. I know it's not ideal. We're going to get a little bit closer. I'm going to have... You step down first. Do we see any nasty guys? We do not. And have you roll out over here, and then have you overwatch. Again, I realize this is not the ideal person to have overwatching on the front lines, but it's what we have right now. So I think that between the two of... You know what? I don't want you over there. I think these two are going to roll out. So Captain Meltagun himself, Magnus, is going to roll out with our boy uh, Ulf Iceclaw, and then we're going to hope for the best. Our Devastator Marine will follow as the third member here. And let's end the turn and hope this works out. I'm so glad that there's no like scoring based on turn time. You can actually take your time in this game. That's one of the things I will say is one of my favorite parts of this game. Now granted, I usually tend to rush along anyway. But the fact that there's no turn timer, and there's no you have to win within five turns. Or to get an A rating, you have to finish in four turns or something like that. I feel quite a bit better about the game due to the fact that there are literally no issues like that that I have to deal with. So that does please me greatly. Alright, there was actually no one here at all. 
All right, devastated marine. No, I probably shouldn't have sent you in. He's going to actually operate a saw right outside the window now, guys. If we weren't annoyed before by the banging, now it's saw time because of reasons. Oh, why not? Why not? That's what I ask myself. Why not saw things in the middle of the day? Like, why isn't he working? Why isn't he at work? He should be working. He shouldn't be sawing. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Alright, folks. I am going to end my turn here, and I am going to close the window, the inner window, to see if I can't drown out some of the noise. So, one second. Look at that. Totally seamless, guys. Production value is through the roof. I just... I, it helped a little. It's a little bit quieter. I'm I'm sorry, guys. But what can you do? Alright, what I can do right now is use my Devastator Marine to devastate the wall of death. That's actually very tanky. Oh, and we got a line of sight on another dude. Man, get wrecked. What? We are so good at this game. It's not true. Don't listen to me. Alright, we're, we're going to see how this thing works out. Let's get in close and see if it's a better sounding gun. Well, we did not hit him very often. Well, we got him there. That's within three. Again, we're... Well, we, we did okay. I wouldn't say that was necessarily ideal, but we did okay. I'm gonna scoot forward a little bit more. And we're gonna take a peek. There's nothing there. I kinda wanna go through here with him. Just to kinda get like a little bit of a better visual dealie. I think we could probably do that. Why don't we fire on this? Doesn't seem like there's anything coming behind us, so let's shoot this down. Actually, we didn't get through it. Wow, how much health does that thing have? Oh, 100. Okay. Well, I don't know if I want to open it now. I guess I have to. Either way, yeah, I figure this is going to happen. So they have a clear line of sight against us. I don't think we'll blast through this with our sword. If we max out with our sword, we will. Alright, we did 93. Okay, well, that's that, I guess. Let's uh, end our turn and see what's next. He should just fire directly on Magnus, yeah. Before, he would have had to move one and then fire. I felt like maybe this would happen, but I was hoping maybe it was a range or a melee guy that would charge down and try to murder me, like this. Oh, hello. Okay, apparently we have to watch our backs. Surprise! I... And let us put it to use. Okay. Um, yeah. Didn't know I was going to have to watch my back. Surprise. Alright, we're going to hold the line here then, I guess. Um, I'm going to walk you forward. And have you not overwatch. Have you fire on everybody within range. How about that? Am I going to shoot my... I don't know what this does. Oh, it does amazing things is what it... Oh! Oh, no, we shoot our own... Okay, that... They didn't say anything about that. What? That was so not cool, man. Why would you shoot your own dude? Holy... God. That was not okay. All right, well, at least we know now. Oh, my goodness, that was so bad. That was so incredibly bad. Holy crap, we're just destroying it. Joe Fuel's, he's got the red thirst, man, I'm telling you. You do not want to mess with Joe Fuel and his red thirst. He is an angry guy. I'm just going to tell you straight up. I mean, he just turned and, like, wrecked our Devastator Marine. I mean, that's pretty hardcore. To go up against a Devastator Marine like that, that is terrifying. I'm just saying. Uh, do I want to even aim in this direction? I don't feel like that's really the play. All right, we're going to move here. We're going to try to aim in this direction. What does this do? Like, is there a way to tell without... Oh, man, that, that freaked me out. Is it the same exact skill as what he had? No, he... All right, it looks like he fires at everything. This fires at all enemies, maybe? So, yeah, okay. Apparently, we got to be a little bit more careful with what we uh, choose to uh, do, I suppose. Alright, it looks like maybe overwatching in this direction might be an okay play. Maybe overwatching in this direction is an okay play too. Alright, let's end our turn and hope for the best. Holy crap, guys. Well, we learned something new. 
That skill, not family friendly. It will make your brothers weep openly, and not in a good way. Which, I, I'm not entirely certain there is a good way to make your brothers weep openly. But if there were, it's definitely not that. I hear a lot of foot traffic. Okay, so nothing decided to run us down. Okay, refreshing, huh? Is that what you call it? I call it slightly terrifying. Okay, so... Friendly fire, definitely a thing that we have to worry about. Very well done, sir. Gonna move here. Probably just going to overwatch, I guess? I said, we'll try to move somewhat slow. I'm gonna move here, I'm gonna overwatch this way. And then we're gonna move here and then overwatch back down this way. And then hope our guy doesn't go all crazy, murder your own allied type situation. Nope, don't you do that. I guess that's fine. Alright. Then you, sir. You get to come up over here, maybe? This is an okay move? And I am a little horrified to overwatch in this direction. I don't like it. Maybe here? Why can't we see there? Like, does, 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 is it his helmet? Is this too heavy? He can't turn his head slightly? He'd be like, I'm gonna watch this area here. You know, looking a little bit left and right. Nah, he's just like, whatevs. I got this. Don't even worry about it. This one square is what I'm going to watch. Wow, we actually annihilated a couple folks coming through. Uh-oh. Oh, we got a guy on the backside there. But only one. There's another one coming. Jovial, you kind of deserve that, dude. You you pulled a pretty douchey move killing your compatriot. I'm just saying. It was not a very nice thing to do. Alright, you better not be overheated. Okay, you're not. Excellent. Kill him off. You failed me. There we go. Alright, and you continue to watch the backside there. Jovial, come forward. Uh, melt a gun him in the face, Magnus, if you would. Thank you, buddy. Jofiel, you can just, I guess, overwatch there. We can get Magnus to move forward and probably also overwatch, which is kind of a little ridiculous. We'll get our Devastator Marine once again, overwatching in this general direction. And I guess we can get our boy over here to maybe take a peek around the corner. Okay, well, we can overwatch in this general direction then. All right, let's end our turn and hope for the best. I'm quite concerned with this whole scenario. I mean, owning our own guy was definitely not the play. He can't close with us, which is good. There's definitely somebody coming from our left side. Our Devastator Marine took care of it. Orton's like, I don't know why I'm watching your back, brother. But for now, I will do so. Until the moment strikes me to take my revenge. No? Okay. Maybe he won't murder his own brother. Maybe he will. Who can say? Either way, I think it's justified. And you done just got wrecked, I think. Alright, we're gonna go and overwatch. I'm... I have my concerns, but I think Jovial... Jovial? Jovial's gonna move forward as the Jovial fellow that he is, or the Jovial fellow that he is. You know what? I don't think... You know what? What if we move here? This seems like maybe a suicidally crazy move, but it might actually not be that bad. Alright, gonna overwatch this way. Gonna get our Devastator Marine to move back once again. Have him overwatch once again this way. No, you know what? Not that way. Have you overwatch where your compatriot is. Which, you know, we can even wait on that. How about we move him forward first? Have him move here and then have him overwatch. Okay, now we can do this. There we go. And then we can move you up here. Which, I don't know, that actually seems kind of counterproductive. Alright, we're just going to have you move over here. How about that? Okay, so this whole area is kind of covered, well, at least from one guy. I think we're okay. Again, could be making horrible, horrible, awful mistakes, as I often do. But right now, I feel like we're doing okay. We're moving along. 
Our brothers are shooting each other. It's totally fine. It's not a big deal. Hey, nothing even showed this time around. That makes me feel pretty happy. Alright, what is over here? Nothing. Alright, I'm ready to do a bit of baby damage to this. I'm not ready to open this up to, like, murder, death, killing. But that feels pretty good. I like it. Alright, I feel like we can probably fire in that general direction if anything comes our way. And I think we're going to go meet up with our brethren over here. And finally, our Devastator Marine can back up to this spot and then still overwatch. Covering our back as the slow, goofy cousin of the rest. Well, I guess technically he's a brother, right? Let me tell you something, brother. Alright, so he's going to move there. We're going to chop through this. No, we don't have... We can just go up and around. How about we do that? We'll go up and around. And it appears there's no one here. Unless there's somebody hiding right there, there wasn't, so... Yeah, it looks like we're still good. Okay, I like it. I think we're in a still somewhat favorable position. We'll see soon enough. Devastator Marine doing work on the backside. It sounds like there is still more movement, and I think our Devastator Marine can probably just take that guy out straight up. I'm not sure where else the movement's coming from, but it still sounds like it's in that general region. That general vicinity. So we're going to use our Devastator Marine right now. Good old Orton's going to take this guy down. I wish we had line of sight of maybe another enemy, but we don't. So what we're going to do is back up. We're going to use this blast through, and we overheated, as I figured we would. I'm going to fire on him, and we missed every shot. We're going to try again. We missed every shot again. And there we go. Finally, victory is ours. And I guess I can shoot at the wall. Uh-oh. I didn't actually expect to kill it. That's kind of a mistake. Eh, I'm okay with it. Alright, we will buzzsaw through this wall. Um, We kind of will buzzsaw through that wall. We're going to buzzsaw a little bit, and then we're going to actually shoot it out with our boy here. Melta gun power. Oh, and I think we even got a shot on that guy. Melta! Yeah. All right, we can scoot forward just a tad. And why don't we overwatch this way? All right, so that dude's going to be a small small issue. All right, I think we're done. I don't think we can do anything else. All right, let's end it. We're going to get shot at least four times. He's going to just fire all four. So hopefully we dodge at least one of these. Or he misses one of them. Oh, good. Good. There could be three or four people here. I don't know. Three is what I would assume. But it looks like we're still good to go. Alright, I am going to move myself down... Well, over here. I'm going to take a shot at this guy. I actually... Don't, I actually don't have a shot, really? I was a little confused by this. I'm going to move down here, and that's going to be it. We're not going to do anything else with him. We're going to get our Devastator Marine to do nothing right now. Going to move here, and I guess we're going to Overwatch in this general region. Okay, we're going to get our Devastator Marine to move here and Overwatch behind us once again, as is the norm. Eventually, we won't have to do this anymore. We'll be able to, like, run rapidly with our, with our individual. All right, do we see anybody here? We do not. We'll get ourselves into position up here do some damage in theory. I'm pretty sure we're not going to chop this down in one shot. Good. Alright, and we're going to move down and around this way and prepare for the murder death killing that's going to ensue eventually. Alright, again, I don't know what that does, but I certainly don't want to kill my own people with it. I'm very curious. I, like, I want to try it. Okay, we fired on that. Do we shoot? We don't shoot our own allies, so that's a good sign. All right, we're good. We're ready to end our turn, and let's hope for the best. Okay, an enemy came around the corner, did not go down, and now we're gonna have to suffer three shots to our face. It's a bit unfortunate. Well, he missed two of them. That's pretty good. But our Devastator Marine is taking on the folks that come from behind like a boss. He's just doing work. 
I'm loving having him on the back lines right now. He's a little bit slow. He's a little bit lumbersome, but he's wrecking fools as they come up on us. They're like, let's roll up on the Death, the death Watch squad. Oh, wait. There's a giant Devastator Marine focused on us. No. And then they just die. It's, it's beautiful. It really is. All right. I'm going to move here. And I am going to use my crate now. That's that's a terrible idea. No, don't do it. Don't do it. I mean, I can shoot at him, but the chances that I'm going to hit him are pretty slim. Yeah, see, I figured that that was going to be like a total miss. It looks like I can just unload too. Oh, I can still do that after I've used all my AP as well. Well, that's interesting. I did not know that. Melta your way through, my brother. Melta, Magnus, Melta. Please? There we go. Oh my gosh. What is this, like a 700 door? Get through the door. Dear lord, man. What the heck are you doing? I took you way too long. Alright, you're gonna just blast this door right away. Do I dare shoot or do I just like roll up on him and kill him? I think I'm gonna shoot at him. That was a mistake. We're gonna roll up and kill him. We're gonna fruit roll up and kill this guy. What? Bzz, down you go, buddy. Thank you come again. Alright, meanwhile, don't overheat. He overheated. Uh, this guy. This guy is not super great at life. Alright, we're gonna roll out to this spot, and then we're gonna hold the line. Meanwhile, we're going to probably roll all the way over here with our boy. Feel like, that's a pretty good play. Alright, so that's our move. That's what we're gonna roll with, and we're gonna hope for the best. Obviously, we still have a little bit more to go, but I feel like we're doing pretty decent this time around, guys. Hopefully, you feel the same. Clearly, there's still some folks that could roll up on the backside of us and make our lives slightly miserable, but I'm hoping that's not going to be the case. Alright, at this point, what would I like to do? I think I'd like to move here. There's really nobody here? That seems kind of suspect. Really? There's no one. Huh. Okay, well then, I guess we'll just go for the end game, maybe. Unless there's like a whole bunch of people shoved into these corners and we're just going to get destroyed when we try to go for it. Alright, we'll get our Devastator Marine to come on over. And then we'll have uh, Jofiel the Red... The Red Thirsteen, what is he, Blood Angel, I think it was. That also decides to do a lot of friendly fire. We'll let him do the final Overwatch before the end of this mission. Well, good. It actually worked out better than I was anticipating. When we originally almost murdered our own teammate, I felt pretty worried about this one. I was a little scared. I, I wasn't feeling the love. But, hey, we managed to get through it. I'm pretty happy with that. All right. There is no way you can chase us down. Now, technically... If we wanted to, I'm pretty sure we could just sit here and farm forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Like, they're going to continually spawn guys. We can just sit here and farm up free kills all day long if we wanted. I think that's kind of cheesy. I'd rather not do that. But I'm also, not going to lie, I'm very, very, very sorely tempted to actually do that as well. So just be aware that the temptation is there, and I realize that is something we can do. And if you find that your guys are a little bit too weak, maybe that's a, a path you want to take. But either way, it's time for us to leave. And are we going to get our sweet, sweet victory? Reach waypoint. We've done that. And we have the victory screen. Yeah, victory. All right. So who is the top dog this time? Looks like Jofiel did all the work, including almost murdering his own person. The gun was, yeah, it was hit or miss. It had its moments where it was just ridiculously, awfully, terribly, stupidly bad. But most of the time it was pretty decent. Our Devastator Marine did quite a bit of work, too, on the back side of things. And, yeah, everybody kind of pulled their weight this time around. I gotta say, nobody really seems to be 100% slacking. Regulus was kind of the, eh, he was kind of eh the whole time. And it shows, his XP is the lowest. But he had to cover the back side, and only once did his gun jam where he couldn't do it, or overheat, as it were, where he actually took damage from that. So, eh. Alright, so, super dangerous on Jofiel. I didn't get to try out Magnus's cool ability. But hopefully we'll get to see that soon enough. All right, guys, let's hop out of this. Another 20 Inquisition points of death. And... Ooh. 
Ooh, a master crafted chainsword. I am all over that junk. Give that to me. Give it to me now. I gotta say, I'm excited. I do love the master crafted items. They look so super cool, but again, they, they have their drawbacks too. Alright, oof, Ice Claw, if that is your real name. We're gonna actually give you a bit more accuracy. I know it's kind of a little ridiculous to level you up further. Alright, it's getting kind of expensive. So 22% accuracy, you're 92% accurate, accurate with your sword. That's gonna change. Yeah, it's gonna change a little bit. Alright, when attacked with a melee, there's a 50% chance that your space marine will get a free retaliation. When hit by a melee attack, there's a 20% chance it will be parried, absorbing 80% of the damage. Nice. Equip. And you're now 82% accurate with it. Well, that's still pretty darn good. So you're rolling out with uh, two double mastercrafted weapons, and it kind of even matches your outfit, man. If you're all into the whole dress-me-up Barbie type thing and Warhammer. He's got a tail. He's actually got a tail. That is awesome. I totally didn't see that on the other dude, but maybe it was there. Just didn't notice it. So he's got a tail, guys. Who knew that would be a thing? All right, Joe Feel. Uh, try not to murder your own allies next time. Let's actually take a look at this. Fire at everything in range. Okay, so lesson learned. Allies are part of everything. Don't let that happen. And what else do we have? Use once every four turns. Take four action points from the next turn. So you can really wreck fools with that, but then you're you're spent for a turn. Okay, well that seems like a cool deal. I like it. I think uh, increasing your accuracy might be a decent ploy as well. I think we can hold the line with that. What else do we have here? Oh, you actually have a Melta specialization. That's pretty sick. Killing an enemy has a 20% chance to return 1 AP. That's pretty crazy too. And then what's this? After taking damage in enemy turn, 20% damage until the end of your turn. That sounds like that would be better on a melee guy. I don't know. I think we're going to go with uh, increasing our accuracy. Maybe we'll go up to 30 points with him. I know it's going to be an expensive uh, trip, but I think it's going to be worth it. Because we need to get his accuracy up to use that weapon. Like, I I'm hoping that we also find some war gear that's going to increase, like, accuracy for everyone. Because I feel like right now, it's a long road before anybody's going to actually be able to use these with any level of proficiency. But I suppose maybe that's part of the, the plan. You know, you're not going to hit every shot you fire, right? So, maybe it's trying to add some realism? I, I don't know. Still, I would prefer to land every single shot that I fired. Just saying. Just saying. Alright, did we make it? We did. We made it to get the crack shot out. And we're going to get it. And there it is. So we can use that once every three turns. It increases our accuracy and our damage by 20% each time. And I believe it doesn't use any AP. Most of the skills don't seem to. So that's pretty darn nice. Regulus, my brother. You have not made it to the 7k mark. You have to go back home and rethink your life. All right, I think the next point into accuracy may be a wise course of action. The Melta Gun is just doing tremendous amounts of work. I am liking it. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And I will see you guys in just a bit with the next episode of Warhammer 40K Death Watch. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.